What can we do to heal, to rebuild? It is within the power of each individual, in the same way that that one person hurts so many, bodily, emotionally, psychologically, that means I'm sitting in a room full of people with a commensurate strength, a thousand, a million fold. We don't take ourselves seriously enough to realize that, that within each one of us is the power to influence, to impact, to strengthen hundreds of people. And we're seeing it now with the advent of social media, that one person can either destroy people's lives or build people's lives. Understand that each one of you has, ev has efficacy. Each one of you. Each one of you has such strength. Look for opportunities to build unity on campus, to, to bring healing, to bring understanding. Join together with us. Please, join together with us as we build a new future. The future is ours now. Hear the words of Avraham Avinu once again. What do you want to do about it? In conclusion, we're going to say the Jewish memorial prayer, Kelmali Rachamim. Kelmali Rachamim is a prayer which says that even though a person ends their sojourn on the earthly abode, even though they end their time here in the world, the soul lives on. The soul lives on. And the soul has, as we say in Yiddish, nachas, has such unbelievable pleasure when good things happen on its behalf. Nachas is something when you come home from school, you, bread, you, you come home from school with an A, and your mother has nachas because uh, you came home with an A. That you did a good job, your grandmother, your, your father has nachas that you did a good job. Souls, when they leave the world, they're, they're not spectators, they have nachas. So similarly, we're going to say a prayer right now that we ask that all the souls of those who departed quite violently, quite abruptly on Saturday, that they should have nachas from us trying to build a bigger world, trying to build a better world, a world full of hope, a world full of dreams. We'll say Kelmali right now. <laughs>